Okay, this is a blood flow from the body to the heart and then to the lungs and out to the body again. So just to identify the structures that we have, there's your heart. Um, up there where the purple is written it says superior vena cava. Um, down below sticking out is the inferior vena cava. And um, there's your right atrium, your left atria, your tricuspid valve there in black, your mitral valve there in black, or also called your bicuspid valve. And then in blue down here, this is your right ventricle. And then in red is your left ventricle. And then coming across, you have your pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery starts from right there and it branches off that way and it branches off over there to pulmonary artery. And then you have your pulmonary vein and there's actually three there. Um, and then you have your aorta which technically starts right there in red and then goes all the way out there. So let's talk about what this means. So when your body sends its little red blood cell back to the heart, it's going to come in either through the superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava. And from there, it's going to go into your right atrium. And again, this is deoxygenated blood because your body's used the oxygen, so it's sending it back to your heart to get to send it to the lungs to get oxygenated. So the red blood cell comes in through either the superior or inferior vena cava and it's going to wind up there in the right atrium. From the right atrium it's going to go to the tricuspid valve and then it's going to go into the right ventricle. So as it makes its way in the right ventricle it's going to come around and be ejected into the pulmonary artery. And so up the pulmonary artery, again, it branches off two different ways. So after the pulmonary artery, it's going to go out and it's going to go to the lungs. And again, the lungs are on both sides. So it goes to the lungs. It's deoxygenated. Once it gets to the lungs, it becomes oxygenated. Then it's going to come all the way back up, and it's going to go through the pulmonary vein. Now it's oxygenated blood, and it goes through the pulmonary vein either of those three and then it's going to go into the left atrium and then it's going to go through the mitral or bicuspid valve and then it's going to go into the left ventricle and then it's going to go from there it's going to be squeezed and ejected into um, you can see up here this is actually the start of the aorta and then it goes around so then it's going to go into the aorta Again, it's oxygenated. All this time it's oxygenated and it's going to go into the body so that the oxygen can be used by the body. And just one final note here, when I'm talking about the right atrium, the left atrium, um, and the pulmonary artery that branches off into two, that's all deoxygenated blood. After it goes to the lungs and it comes back through the pulmonary veins, into the left atria, down the mitral and bicuspid valve, in the left ventricle, and out through the aorta. There it's all oxygenated. So blue for deoxygenated, red for oxygenated. Using the same drawing, I'm going to do two different random starting points. Um, just so we know, we know the the flow of blood. So let's take the aorta as a starting point. So up there's your aorta. So if I say where's the blood go from the aorta? It's going to go from the aorta to the body. Right now it's oxygenated and after that body, after you use that oxygenated blood, it's going to come through either the superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava. So from the aorta to either the superior or inferior vena cava, well after it goes to the body, 
Um, so it's going to come down there and then it's going to go through the right atrium, then through the tricuspid valve, then it's going to go through the right ventricle, wrap around, and then it's going to go out through the pulmon. well this is technically the pulmonary trunk, and into the pulmonary artery. There's one, and there's another pulmonary artery. And then it's going to go out to the lungs. Now it becomes oxygenated. So from the lungs, it's going to come around, and it's going to come into the pulmonary vein. And then it's going to go into the left atrium. And again, it's oxygenated at this point because it just came back from the lungs. So from the left atrium, it's going to come into the mitral or bicuspid valve. And then it's going to go into the left ventricle. It's going to squeeze, which propels this blood through the aorta. Here's the beginning of it. Through the aorta and back out through the body or to the body again. So that's one random starting point. So let's say we have our next random starting point that Cynthia gave me is a pulmonary vein. So if it's starting in the pulmonary vein, we know it's going to be oxygenated. Why? Because it just came from the lungs. So from the pulmonary vein, it's going to come through either of these pulmonary veins into the left atrium, down the mitral or bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle. It's going to squeeze and propel the blood through the aorta and out to the body. Now, there the blood is oxygenated. So after the body, it's going to come back in. The little red blood cells are going to come back in through either the superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava. After that happens, and this does not continue this way. That's a pulmonary trunk up there. This is an inferior vena cava, and it's going to actually wrap around and behind it and come back here through the right atrium. So from the superior or inferior vena cava, it's going to come into the right atrium, and right now it's deoxygenated blood because the body used the oxygen. And then it's going to go from the right atrium to the tricuspid valve, then it's going to come down into the left ventricle. It's going to squeeze and propel the blood through the pulmonary trunk and out to the pulmonary arteries that are going to lead to the lungs. So you see it's the same on both sides even though I'm primarily only showing one side. So from the pulmonary artery into the lungs. Then from the lungs back to the pulmonary vein which was our random starting point. Now we're going to do random starting points from first the mitral valve, or also called the bicuspid valve, and then the tricuspid valve. And the only reason that we're doing all these random starting points is because we were instructed that this could be a short answer question where we'd have to start from a random starting point rather than just the blood flow itself. So let's start from the mitral valve. So here's your mitral and bicuspid valve. It's the same thing. It's just called different a different name by different whoever. Um, and so, uh, so if your blood's in the mitral valve, it's oxygenated because again, it came from the lungs. So it's oxygenated in the mitral valve, and it's going to come down the left ventral or left ventricle, and that's going to contract and squeeze, and then it's going to go out through the aorta and out to the body. The body is going to use the oxygen from the red blood cells and it's going to come back through either the superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava, which either pathway will lead you to the right atrium. In this blood, again, when it comes through the vena cavas, it's not oxygenated, it's deoxygenated because the body just used it. So from the right atrium, it's going to come down through the tricuspid valve through the right ventricle. It's going to propel that blood through the pulmonary trunk and out to the different pulmonary arteries. Then it's going to come down to the lungs. It's going to get oxygenated. It's going to come back through the pulmonary vein and into the left atrium and then the mitral valve. 
and that was our starting point, so that's our ending point. But from the mitral valve, it would have gone to the left ventricle, then out through the aorta to the body. Now let's start from the tricuspid valve. In the tricuspid valve, the red blood cells are deoxygenated because they haven't been to the lungs yet. So if we start with the tricuspid valve, which is right here, tricuspid valve, it's going to go through the right ventricle, be propelled through the pulmonary trunk and into the pulmonary arteries. From there, it's going to go to the lungs, become oxygenated, and then it's going to come down through the pulmonary, or it's going to go to the pulmonary veins, and right now, again, it's oxygenated, and then it's going to go into the left atrium, down the mitral or bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle, it's going to contract and propel that blood through the aorta and out to the body. The body is going to use that oxygen, send its little red blood cells back to either the superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava. So the deoxygenated blood is then going to go from the superior or inferior vena cava into the, tri or into the right atrium. And then from the right atrium, it's going to go through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle, but the tricuspid valve was our starting point, so we'll end there.